You might not be too eager to spend time outdoors with the heat and humidity, but if you're looking to soak up all the summer fun, you'll want to watch out for ticks. Yeah, joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System, Dr. David McNamara. Uh, Dr. McNamara, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you, it's good to be here. We're talking about tick-borne illnesses. So the common one that comes to mind is Lyme disease. Uh, what, uh, I guess, how, what is Lyme disease and how can we watch out for it? Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that's transmitted from ticks to humans as well as dogs and cats. Um, and really the things that you wanna be aware of would be if you developed a rash, which is a characteristic red or oval rash after being out in the out of doors, or if you had illness with fever, swollen joints, or facial paralysis after outdoor activities. And I have one quick question for you. If someone finds a tick on their body, some people think that they've got it out, maybe like pulled out with their fingers or tweezers, but sometimes it could still be in there. How do, how do people properly remove a tick if, you do, if they do find it on their body? So the best way to remove a tick is just that to do it promptly and very carefully do it with a small set of real fine tweezers and just carefully pull the tick off. Okay, and um, what are some other diseases that tick bites can cause? So we see a couple tick-borne infections here in this region very commonly. Certainly Lyme disease is real common. It's the one most of us have heard of, but also quite commonly we see another bacterial infection called anaplasma, and also less commonly we see a parasitic infection called Babesia, which is also transmitted from the deer tick to humans. Interesting. So it might not just be Lyme disease, although that is the big one that we see. Now we talked about removing a tick if you find one, but sometimes they can be tough to find. Do they tend to, to occur in uh, some, some common spots on the body? Yeah. Unfortunately, the nymphs that transmit infections are really very tiny and they're small and hard to spot. So the common locations that they'll often go to would be the armpits or the groin, um, even around the hair, areas where they're harder to spot. So we certainly recommend doing a good and careful tick check after you come in from being in the out of doors, certainly for all persons and including your children. Yeah, yeah. So things you want to watch out for, of course, it's not just uh, the heat, the humidity, the sun outdoors. You got to be on the lookout for ticks as well. And Dr. McNamara, we thank you for being with us this morning. Good. Thank you. Have a good day. You as well. 10 minutes before 7. Uh, we'll be right back with the Check of Your Day Planner Outlook next.